And things just got more difficult for the Buffalo Bills because as good as they have been, some awful news that came down today. Trey White is out for the season with a torn Achilles. That injury he suffered early in the fourth quarter has been confirmed. There is no uh, 2023 Buffalo Bills, in my opinion, as we know it, without Trey White. He was a foundational piece uh, of this defense. He was the first ever pick by Sean McDermott. Uh, sort of he embodies the process and what it means to be a Buffalo Bill. And I don't mean to sound like um, I'm eulogizing the guy here, but it's it's a tough loss. And he was finally rounding back into all pro form after a 2021 torn Achilles uh, or excuse me, a torn ACL. It's it was hard to enjoy the fourth quarter on Sunday uh, after seeing the way that Trey White reacted to that injury, tossing his helmet almost 15 yards. I mean, he knew it was bad what are your thoughts you know in 2021 the rallying cry was win it for trey we failed to live up to that i think once again that it's going to be the rallying cry in 2023 but what are your thoughts on this trey white injury and news it's just you feel for the guy right and hmm. there's certain guys and i know he's uh, uh, on a team we root for but there's certain guys you feel for when things like this happen to them because you know they're good people you know they've been so instrumental in building the foundation to what the bills have here and you kind of contrast that to a mm -hmm. guy like who's playing tonight who goes out early and jamal adams who ha has also missed a ton of time but like you don't really feel that same kind of like empathy towards a guy like jamal adams who's been kind of like a dickhead and like didn't really wasn't really part of the foundation of what seattle did in all those years whereas trey white is kind of the opposite of that right he was a foundational piece he was the very first draft pick in the sean mcdermott era with the bills um off the field spectacular guy on the field obviously had his own style which we really loved and sort of um fit well right with this fan base and you hope that he has a speedy recovery i don't know what his fu football future will be obviously he considered retirement previously um but at this point, you just hope that he, in his recovery, and when he does recover, whether he comes back to fl play football or not, mm -hmm. is that we still see that same Trey White, that fun-loving guy that we've grown accustomed to over these years. And I think that this could be a rallying cry for the Bills this year. Obviously, um, it's still early in the season, but they are going to want to go out there and, and, and do their best for him because they know how pivotal he – like it was him and Sean McDermott, right? In 2017, mm -hmm. right? Like those were the two guys that started this whole thing. Josh Allen wasn't there yet. Brandon Bean didn't come there until after the mm -hmm. draft. Those were the two guys. It's McDermott and White. And I know they have a special bond. And I know he has a special bond with the fan base of this team. And so, yeah, heart wrenching. And you just hope that at the end of all this, he comes back in good spirits, whether that's playing football or not. Yeah, I mean, the he had the ACL two years ago. We saw the mental toll that that took on him. He's obviously now has an Achilles injury at the position that he plays. It's going to be very difficult to come back from, even though Greg Tom sent me a great comment in the cover one group chat. It's like, guys, he's 28 years old. He's not, we're, we're talking like he's 35, he's 28. So if he wants to come back from this, he, he can come back from this, but he has openly discussed sort of his aspirations outside of football. And it makes you wonder if this, could be the end of the road for Trey, but whatever he does decide to do, obviously Bill's Mafia is going to be behind him 110%. And you mentioned being one of those foundational pieces in 2017, Jordan Boyer, Micah Hyde, they were part of that foundation in 2017 as well. And how about Jordan Boyer, the consummate teammate, riding the cart with Trey White back into the locker room? You could see how upset that Trey White was. We said and thought last year that we saw the end of an era, and we never thought we would see Poyer and Hyde play again when Micah Hyde went down with his neck injury. That ended up being false. Right. This feels like we may never see a Trey White, Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer trio again. What are your thoughts on a possible end to this era? Yeah, I mean, a lot of things got to kind of fall into favor, right? Like Micah mm -hmm. Hyde needs to obviously play beyond 2023, right? He's, he's not under contract beyond this year. Um, obviously Trey is and Jordan will be back for next year. Every, you know, assuming everything kind of works out, but like at this point, we don't know if Trey 
wants to come back, if he wants to rehab and try to make it all the way back, like what's that timetable going to look like? Obviously we saw, and it's a different injury, but we saw with the ACL, um, you know, he, he took his time coming back and there were some mental hurdles for him to clear um, post getting back to full health physically. Right. So there's a lot to overcome. I think here mentally as well. I don't mm-hmm. know. If we'll see this trio on the field together again. You hate to see it end this way if it does end this way. So perhaps like maybe there is a, uh, you know, one last sort of ride here. If Micah Hyde comes back for another year, we'll mm-hmm. see, right? We'll see. Yeah. Um, and as RJ says, RJ, RJ says Hyde needs to come back for one more year. He looks good so far. Um, Trey coming back would be a good reason too. So yeah, who knows? Maybe Micah Hyde mm-hmm. and Trey White can kind of feed off each other there. And if like Trey's kind of in Micah's ear saying like, yeah, I'm going to come back and, you know, I'm going to rehab hard and be back. And then maybe Micah Hyde has incentive to kind of try to come back for one more year as well. So we'll see.